Chelsea Smith and I'm a research assistant in the entomology department at Ohio State University. So the point of this HAP, HAPS project is to determine the feasibility of producing HAPS in Ohio. Um, we want to bring HAPS in Ohio to have a local production to bring in that money that is being outsourced. So we're outsourcing for our HAPS so we're losing a lot of money out of state. Um, that's the main point. And we also want to determine which pests are going to be a problem, um, what, type of yield, what type of yields we're going to get, and um, also which types of diseases we're going to have to look out for. So having a hop yard probably isn't for everyone, um, due, especially due to the high upfront costs and the work required to install the trail system. But I think it's a great opportunity for farmers who are really interested in specialized crops. Um, if a farmer already has something like grapes, um, they probably already have all the equipment. Um, and I think they're very hardy plants, so they do very well in many different soils. Here we have a pretty clay, clayey soil. Um, and our hops did great. And I think you can also, you don't need an intensive trellis system like ours. You can grow them up the size of houses. You can grow them up one pole and make kind of a teepee of hops, which is pretty cool. I've seen that before. Um, you can get really creative here with trellis systems. Um, so I think having the, the more people we get growing hops, the better it will be, because then the local brewers will get to have local hops and the locally sourced beer will be very exciting for our state.